More Canadians are adding their voices to the growing protest over that building collapse in Bangladesh. A Toronto company has been facing a backlash ever since its products were discovered among the rubble. Approximately 400 people were killed, and tonight the building's owner is in custody. Here's Mike Trelay. Handcuffed, a commando on either arm, arguably the most wanted man in Bangladesh was led through an angry crowd to jail. The small-town politician who owned the illegally built factory that collapsed last week had been on the run for four days until his capture trying to get over the border with India. This is what he was trying to get away from, the deadliest tragedy to ever hit Bangladesh's $20 billion a year garment industry. Hundreds are still missing, and with every passing day, relatives fear the worst. Scenes like this are all that's keeping hope alive. Nine more survivors were pulled from the rubble today, but what's been largely a hand and shovel operation is taking its toll. When I tried to pull the next person out, he said his body was being torn apart, said this rescuer. I had to let go, but God willing, we'll be able to rescue him with more help very soon. Meanwhile, protests against the Bangladeshi government are picking up steam. People want to know how this could have happened and what is being done to fix a broken system. In Canada, labour leaders attending the National Day of Mourning for workers injured or killed on the job had the same questions. The building codes might not be to our standards, they say, but we buy what they make, so we have a responsibility. Our government has to step in and say, we'll trade with you, but you have to follow those core standards. And if you don't follow or enforce those core standards, we won't let your products into our country. It will change overnight if the government were to say that to Bangladesh. Meanwhile, Canada's Joe Fresh continues to get an earful from its customers after its clothing was found in the rubble. On its Facebook page, the comments were rough. Joe Fresh is off my shopping list. Bangladeshi people get paid only $30 a month, which is the price of just one of your shirts. And shame on you, Joe Fresh. We shall boycott you. Joe Fresh responded, We don't have all the answers today, but we are taking steps to drive change and to finding solutions to ensure safe working conditions at the production facilities with which we do business. Joe Fresh, along with other retailers, are holding a meeting with the Retail Council of Canada tomorrow to discuss their role in preventing future disasters like this. Mike Trolet, Global News Toronto.